you really wanted us to come up with a session on polyester and acrylic isn't it so there you go and here we are with a very important session and this is a really important topic from the chapter synthetic fibers and plastics so let's get started but hey i hope you all know about this so you know about by juice right and you know about the app and this is definitely the best app for you now first to download the app the link is there in the description box explore it check this out and i'm sure you would definitely love everything that's there the link is there in the description box you can check the various packages that are being mentioned if you go by my recommendation i definitely recommend you to try this out so go ahead and check this out all right now starting with the types of synthetic fibers some of them we've already covered right we've talked about rayon we've already mastered everything about rayon we've talked about nylon as well now we'll be talking about polyester and of course acrylic so these are the two very important synthetic fibers that we will be discussing today so let's start with polyester now all right now polyester is nothing but poly plus ester isn't this really simple which means that the monomer in this case is going to be ester so it's a synthetic fiber made of repeating monomers which are known as esters now this seems like a new term what exactly is ester well esters are chemicals which give a fruity smell so that's how you can identify an ester by the fruity smell talking about the properties of polyester first of all it remains crisp and it's easy to wash then of course it does not get wrinkled easily and yes it is durable plus if you'll actually touch you'll figure this out that it's soft also so these are the important properties of polyester moving on to the types now so we've got two really important examples out there for all of you pet pet right and terrilene you heard about these terms i'm very sure so let's get started with pet what's the full form of this PET pet that we are mentioning it is a very popular polyester and the full form is polyethylene terephthalate so this is being used to make bottles wires utensils films and many other useful products so i'm sure you've heard this term somewhere but now you know the full form as well now talking about terephthalene now terephthalene is also a really popular polyester and it can be drawn into very fine fibers really thin fibers and then of course woven like a normal yarn now terephthalene is basically used to make garments sheets even rain coats right all right so by the way do you know about this have you ever heard about this polycot what exactly is polycot so polyester fabrics are basically being sold by names like polycot and polywool so polycot is actually polyester plus cotton polywool is polyester plus wool so you can clearly see over here that these are made by mixing two types of fibers and i think it's really easy to remember these isn't this polycot is of course polyester plus cotton polywool is polyester plus wool now talking about the uses of polyester so in making sports wear in casual wear bottles utensils and all these they can be made by using polyester so this was all about polyester and now we'll move on to acrylic another really important synthetic fiber now we've been using a lot of winter wear right we use sweaters we use shawls blankets and if you think all of them are made of wool you might want to rethink this again right why am i saying this so at first they might appear to be made of wool but actually they might be prepared from acrylic as well why am i saying this the reason is because acrylic actually resembles wool so it's a synthetic fiber that has a similar texture and feel just like wool right so it might be made of acrylic instead of wool now why are we actually using this instead of wool see wool is quite expensive we all know about this right and of course it's it's leading to animal cruelty also so we would definitely want to switch to something to a better alternative and that's why we moved on to acrylic so that's the reason why acrylic actually became really popular 
Why? Due to its low cost. That's a really important point, right? Then of course, due to its light weight as well. And of course, it's also sunlight resistant. So these are the important properties of acrylic. Plus, it's available in a variety of colors. All the more reason we are in a way more attracted to use acrylic. Now, talking about the uses, I'm sure you can easily figure this out. Some of the important uses are to make sweaters, shawls, carpets, sportswear. So if you'll actually think this way that, you know, it's resembling wool, I'm sure you can come up with a lot of more uses for this synthetic fiber as well. Now, let's see. We are saying that synthetic fibers are cheaper. We are saying that synthetic fibers are more durable. In a way, we are just praising synthetic fibers ever since, right? We started talking about this chapter and ever since we are just talking about the advantages of using it. But is there something else that we need to know? Is it completely beneficial to us or there is some important information that we have to keep in mind while we talk about this? Well, there is something that we need to be really careful about. And that point that we are discussing over here is really important in your real life as well. That is, synthetic fibers catch fire easily. This is a very, very important point. So you have to remember this from the exam point of view also and in real life as well. And it melts, it sticks to the body. So you have to be really careful about this one. Right. So let's do one thing. Let's have the activity time. Let's observe a video over here and you will yourself check this out. What I'm telling you is true or not. So we have a synthetic fiber and look how quickly is it burning. I mean, this is quite scary, isn't it? And please don't try this at home alone. Okay. This needs to be done under adult supervision for sure. So synthetic fibers, they burn really quick. This is our advice that please remember not to wear synthetic clothes in the kitchen where, you know, gas is there or maybe, you know, in a laboratory, you'll eventually go to labs, right, to work and all. So don't use synthetic clothes at that point of time because there also you've got burners, you've got Bunsen burners and it can catch fire really easily. And this is a big disadvantage of synthetic fiber. So having said that, there are many advantages, but we really can't overlook this point as well. So keep this in mind. All right, now that you think that you've mastered these two topics, I have a question for you. Let's see what the question is. Which of the following is used to make plastic bottles? Is it rayon? Is it polyethylene terephthalate? Is it nylon or is it acrylic? Quickly think about this one. Okay. And I'm sure you will definitely land at the land on the correct answer so out of these four options the correct answer for this question is ta -da, it's option b that is pet polyethylene terephthalate now it's basically used to make bottles it's used to make containers and i'm sure this is the answer that might be popping in your head as well so I hope all of you have also marked option B as the correct answer. That is PET, pet bottles. We heard about these, right? Plastic bottles. All right. Awesome. With this, we've come to the end of this session. So, yes, we've got you covered, guys. You really wanted us to come up with this session, now. Nah? So, here we are with this session. And whatever you want from us, keep posting. We definitely read your comments and we definitely try to work on them. So, we'll be coming back with a lot of sessions as per your wish. And yes, this is a gentle reminder again. I'll definitely recommend you to try this out. The plus point is that you can book the session at any point of time. As per your convenience, completely based on your comfort, check out whichever session you want from whichever subject that you want. And yes, the link is there in the description box. Try this out. And I'm sure you love all the classes. Just like you love all the live classes over here. Great. So, quickly like this video. And yes, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification from our end as well. Now go revise the whole chapter. We've completed the whole chapter, right? Have a good revision and I'll see you super soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.